Alright guys, welcome to another beer review and uh, today my I, it actually looks like I've almost got a beard. Um, yeah, it is true that once you start approaching 30, if you're a uh, beard infertile like me, uh, then you do actually start to uh, grow a little bit. It still looks like I'm a 16 year old boy trying to pass off for a 25 year old to get some beer, but oh well. You've got to stick with what you've got, I suppose. <coughs> Excuse me. So, today we're diving once again into the Boston box from Beer 52. Um, had some really nice beers so far from this box. So, if you're interested, the referral link is at the top of the, uh, the description of the video. And, uh, yeah, so we're going back over to Harpoon. And this is a can of the Dark, which is a Dunkel style beer. Now I've got to keep that one because you never know. Myself and um, Dean might do a review of that one. Going to have to message him about that. A uh, little bit of a change of pace. We're going over to Clown Shoes. And we're having a look at the Chocolate Sombrero Mexican style chocolate stout. Uh, ale brewed with natural flavours and natural flavours added. Could not just have left it in natural flavours? I don't know. Um, so fucking bitchy. I do apologise. So ingredients are malted barley, malted oat, malted rye, yeast, hops, uh, ancho chilli powder, lactose, dextrose, cinnamon, vanilla beans. And this is clocking in at 7% ABV, fringe of 35ml can. And uh, yeah, once again coming from the um, beer 52 Boston box. So uh, yeah, looking forward to that. I do like chili stouts. Um, I think especially these sort of like Mexican style, so you know, sort of like Mexican styled hot chocolate that you get with churros, which that always seems to be like, is that authentic or is that just typical white people trying to be edgy? You know, when you see them at like um, food festivals and like Christmas markets and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, that that makes me kind of sound ignorant that I've thought it was that. Anyway, let's not get lost in that sort of discussion. Um, this is a professional beer review channel. And uh, yeah, so anyway, yeah, I like these sorts of nice chocolatey stouts with a bit of a chilli to it. Um, I've had some really nice examples over the past couple of years. And uh, yes, yeah, looking forward to giving this one a try. So... Let's get the beer opened and see what we get. A little bit of an interruption in the can there. Not as big as the eruption in my pants. But uh, anyway, crude, unnecessary and unfunny comments aside, let's give this beer a pour and see what we get. Got to use the uh, pretentious yet amazing um, IKEA style glass from northern monk and i've poured that absolutely terribly um it's like almost just as much head as there is beer so three fingers worth of a nice sort of um tan beige looking head and the beer in the glass itself uh, it's not jet black but it's a really nice sort of almost like watered down chocolate um do you know what i mean uh lovely brown tones coming through there a little bit of a slight uh, slightly unvarnished oak fresh oak I don't know what oak looks like really anyway <laughs> it's, it's it's got that sort of like it does look like varnished wood but you get some lovely deep brown woody tones in there anyway so it certainly looks nice let's see what we get on the nose you get a little bit of that sort of like chili musk in there it is it's not stinging the nostrils but you feel it on the nostrils there is a very subtle chocolatiness there. A little bit of caramel vibes going on. Subtle hint of cinnamon. Yeah, it, it's it's quite subtle, but it's a really nice smelling beer when you get your nose in there. When you pick up those flavours, they're very satisfying on the nose, essentially is what I'm trying to say. That smells good. Yeah, lovely chocolatey. There was a little bit of heat in there. 
And you get that slight bell pepper character that you get from some chilies. Mm. Smells good. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys. You get that gentle heat more on the back end. It sort of like prickles the tongue as it's going down. But it's not too in your face, it's not too abrasive. But you do detect it. And I'd imagine this is one of those examples where the more you drink in the beer, the more it might come through. So you might get sort of like a residual heat building on the back end. Because I am, I am getting that very slightly. Um, it's actually really quite earthy and woody um, for a, a stout like this. It's got that, it's all like sugary, vibrant sweetness. I think I spat then. And because the light's behind me, I think you saw my spittle. Um, yeah, it's not like really like nice, vibrant sweetness. It's almost like a dense, doughy chocolate cake. That's uh, all like one of those chocolate volcano cakes, do you know what I mean? How gorgeous are they? Basically, it's... It always reminds me of like, yeah, it's just a cake, but the centre hasn't cooked. Do you know what I mean? But mm. It's really nice and simple. All those flavours work really nicely together. So it's it's comforting. Do you know what I mean? It's like it's like a nice cup of cocoa, really. With a little bit of a heat on the back end. Not getting too much of the cinnamon on the flavour, but I suppose that is playing into the heat coming from the chilli powder. Almost has that more sort of um, nice burp to it. Uh, it's got that more cayenne pepper vibe about it. I love cayenne pepper. I just think that's such a nice thing to sprinkle on food, do you know what I mean? I mean, I'm reviewing this beer without too much knowledge of chilies or like what to look for what flavors to look for with chilies uh, i'm not too well versed in that sort of thing um but in terms of the, the heat it's just the right amount it's just that subtle spiciness that really really works with this one uh, is it the most exciting example of this style that i've had Probably not. Um, I think it was the Magic Rock Demolan collaboration that I had earlier in the year, which was just absolutely bang on. That's the sort of boldness I get there. Where it, the the chili character was a little bit more intrusive to the the rest of the beer, but it worked nicely. And um, but yeah, this is a lovely, lovely stout. It's not the heaviest mouthfeel, as you hear my phone vibrate. It's not the heaviest mouthfeel, but it's got, you definitely get that lactose in there. And it just like, just, it lifts it, but it also grounds it at the same time. Do you know what I mean? So it's not watery, but it's not too heavy. It's just mm -hmm. that nice balance vibration again. Uh, it's the balance of this beer. It's so nicely brewed. And I think with these sorts of beers, you can go way overboard and then just ruin the whole beer. Um, I've not had one like that as of this point, but um, yeah, this is nice. I'd, I'd happily have another can of this. Um, you know, it's just after Christmas, we're in the early part of January. What a great beer to see the new year in. And uh, I love that artwork on Cloud, on uh, I was going to call them Clown Water. Um, I love that artwork on, on the Clown Shoes can, but... Um, Well, as you can see, a little bit of an interruption, but uh, the camera on my phone actually has a pause button, so we'll see how effective that is. So, two take Peter, no more. Uh, probably because I'd still get very uh, annoyed, and uh, it looks like I've been like resting against a wall. Um, my hair does weird and wonderful things sometimes, but uh, yeah, there's, it's like there's been a gale that's hit me from that side. But oh well. Anyway, so completely lost. Oh, can was upside down, dribbling on the floor. I'm spilling the beer too. Um, but yeah, 
it's a lovely balanced beer and i think i really i'd like it for that because it could have been too abrasive in any face and uh yeah i think i was commenting on the the artwork from clown shoes i was calling them clown water wasn't i yeah that'd be a good collaboration clown water there you go um or cloud shoes uh, isn't that a power up in super mario i can't remember anyway but yeah this is a really nice beer um it's just the balance and the balance is key especially with this sort of style so in terms of a rating then <sighs> vibration again uh, i'm going to give this one an eight out of ten uh, if the body was maybe a little bit bolder a little bit more milkier um and maybe if that chili was just a little bit more in your face but not too much then it would probably get a bit of a higher score but uh, yeah, if you see this can lying about in your local bottle shop, then definitely do give it a go because uh, it is really nice. And if you're not convinced with these sorts of chili stouts, maybe you, you, you don't want to have your tongue burnt off, then this is a really good example of it because you get that earthiness of the pepper as well as that subtle heat. And I think those flavours work really well in dark beers and they've done an absolutely cracking job with this so uh out of the box so far from beer 52 this has probably been my favorite one and uh yeah i'd happily buy that again and i'd like to potentially see if they do a sort of like an imperial version of this which i'm sure they'll do some sort of iteration because uh, i was looking at um uh, in the magazine that you got with the box so uh, clown shoes seems like a really nice little brewery nice it's it's not exactly micro but you know what i mean um Nine. Little, it's not exactly micro. Anyway, 8 out of 10. If you've tried it, let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. What's some of your favourite examples of the style? Hit me up with your suggestions because I want to try as many of those. Uh, the best one I've had, probably up to this point, actually, is the one I had from Too Old, which was the... can't remember the name of it, but it had that sort of like melted black liquid on the label. Uh, Dutch Courage or something like that. Something along those lines. It wasn't called Dutch Courage. Liquid Confidence. God, that was gorgeous. But that was with so many different peppers. And uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to see this sort of beer. The base beer for this is really good, but be a bit more experimental. Yeah, I want to try and get more of these sorts of uh, chili-infused beers because I think they work really, really well when they're done right. So uh, yeah, any thoughts, recommendations, always appreciated. Check out Clown Shoes, check out Beer52, uh, check out that link down below to get yourself a discount. And of course, if any of my friends and fellow bitches have reviewed it, then I'll put their link down below. So thank you for watching, and I shall hopefully see you later.